So, I just submitted um, one of my essay summaries um, for my English class. Um, finished up all of my kinesiology readings and um, did the quiz. And so, in my English, I have an A, and in kinesiology, I have a B. The only reason I have a B because I started one of the assignments and I didn't finish it. So, I got like an 8 out of 10. So, that brought me down a little bit. But, overall, I think I did pretty good. Hey guys, so 48. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, I'm about to go make breakfast. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna what I'm gonna do today. No my chores are done, like laundry, homework is pretty much done. No. I still have this boot on. So got this and I can't too too much pressure. So I got my crutches over there as you can see. So I guess I gotta figure out what to do today. I might paint. I've been been wanting to I'm not feel kind of scared to last time I drew something out I didn't like how it came out but it was just a sketch you know painting it, it's on canvas it's, it's kind of official and we'll we'll see right, so I'm back um, I made some breakfast which I posted a second ago I'm gonna turn my leg around because I feel like all I want to do is just go out with friends and do this and do that. And then I find myself sad, like getting really down and depressed and, and crying over so much. Honestly, it's because I've, I've strayed away from my foundation. I'm trying to get back into it. What I mean by my foundation is my relationship with God. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm not going to ever be perfect. But there are things that I need to do for myself and my soul, my mind and my heart that I haven't been doing for a while the Bible, you know, and um, I haven't been able to go to church because of work. I'm actually watching Transformation Church on YouTube. I found this guy through a link I found on Facebook a while ago. I started watching his sermons and I was like, wow, he's good. And, and what he's preaching is sound word, the word of God. And I was like, I need, I need to get on this. I need to get on this. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just wanted to let you guys know uh, on an update on how I'm trying to start my morning. I have a different mindset on life and so that way I'm not sad all the time because I think that's a big problem. But yeah. Like your boyfriend and girlfriend hostage trying to fix something they didn't create. And the only way you can get something fixed is you have to go back to the manufacturer. So so we didn't start out too bad. I was able to watch the transformation church. This is what I'm currently in the middle of. There's this pain right here. I was waiting for a layer or two to dry before I had more layer. This guy was supposed to hit me up. He just decided to look at my messages and not respond. And this has been happening for the last couple of weeks. He's really bad at communication until I contact him and then all of a sudden he's like, oh, this, this, that. My friends are all like, oh, ditch him, like he's no good for you. I just, I don't know. It's frustrating because I'm a type of person who expresses my feelings a lot and he doesn't do that, which that's not bad against him. Communication is a really big thing when it comes to relationships, whether you're in a relationship, just friends, family, like any relationship you have, communication is a big thing to keep that relationship the way it is or stronger. He does not know how to do that. And so I see the issue that we're having here and I'm trying not to get irritated or like be buggy and pressuring, but like, if you tell me you're gonna see me, stick with it. But apparently, it is for him. I don't, I don't know. So I'm gonna try not to think about it. You know, I'm stuck in this house by myself because <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna get some chicken, y'all. I'm like walking around and I'm crippled as hell. I shouldn't say as hell. I'm trying to be good. I'm about to slip. We'll see how this goes. So. I ended up talking to him, and him as in the guy that I was supposed to be hanging out with. And um, he told me that like, well, I told him like, I'm sorry for acting the way I have, because I feel like I've been like way too emotional, but, like in an annoying kind of way. I just have a lot going on. And he was like, I've, you know, I told you before, like, you just gotta focus, you know, and all this stuff. And he's like, I didn't really think of it too much, but he was like, you're in your head a lot. And he's like, it's gotten worse though. He's like, I need you to just relax. And I need you to just focus. And like earlier today, 
when I called him. Um, I told him I didn't go to class because my ankle. And he was like, he was like, Carice, get your together. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, all right. But I, I like that he's motivating like that. But then he does these other little things. And I'm just like, I don't know if it's fake or not. But maybe he's right. Maybe I'm just too in my head. I think today helped me a lot with my painting and, and listening to Transformation Church. Especially being cooped in the house for only on three weeks, I guess. No, two weeks, I think. I'm just glad that things aren't bad between us. Because I asked him, I was like, are you trying to send me subliminals? Like, are you trying to send me a message without sending me a message? He was like, you mean subliminals? I was like, yes. And he was like, no. And he was like, trust me, girl. If I wanted you to stop talking to me, I would have told you. I guess his actions just speak differently and that's why it kind of gets to me. So, I don't know. I just, I need to breathe. I need to focus on me. I need to stop worrying so much about what he's thinking and what he's doing and stop being a girl who wants to check social media every five seconds to see if he liked a photo of me or if he pays attention i like attention and i think that's why so when i'm not getting it from him it's it kind of makes me a little sad but i have to i think i have to grow out of that and just realize that i just need to do me whatever comes from this which i hope it's good because i've been praying about it i hope that something good will come from this but we'll see we'll see anyway yeah. all right guys so i'm headed out for the night or headed out going to bed for the night today was a pretty okay day better than the rest of the days i think that's because i was in the, in the bible so anyway i'm just crying because i was watching this is us <laughs> such a good show on episode two but like it's 10 o'clock and i have a doctor's appointment for my ankle tomorrow so i figured you know what it's time to go to bed anyway thanks for um watching and i'll see you guys next time peace